welcome to my kitchen. Um, a friend of mine has a daughter who's graduating from high school. Well, she actually graduated yesterday. But um, she's having her graduation party today. And a few weeks back, she, um, she called me and, and, and asked me if I would make her um, cake for her graduation party. So um, after a little discussion and figuring out what she wanted, she said that she was having a dessert table but wanted a cake and wanted a traditional coconut cake, but she wanted it made pretty. So I went through the whole barrage of questions. What colors does she want? Does she like bling? Does she like girly things? That kind of stuff. So I think that I got a pretty good idea of what she wanted. And you know, it's kind of an interesting prospect for someone to say, I want a coconut cake, but I want it to look pretty. So this is what I decided to do. And I'm, ah, much to my chagrin, Molly uh, recorded the whole thing while I was constructing the cake. I'll go ahead and turn it. But um, I went ahead and I did a sped up version, so we're going to do a fast play <clears throat> after I finish showing you this and telling you about it. And then you can continue to watch if you want or not. It's no big deal to me. Um, it's just something uh, my friend Bev said you really should videotape while you're doing it. I didn't really want to do it, but I did it anyway. Um, this is 12-inch uh, bottom tier, 8-inch top tier. It's a total coconut cake with a coconut soak, coconut buttercream in the middle. Each layer, each tier is two layers. And um, there's coconut buttercream and coconut flake and coconut, what I call coconut soak. Um, you, you brush each, each layer with um, coconut cream, like cream of coconut, uh, <clears throat> and then you put the buttercream on. So it's very, very moist cake. And everything came out so, it's the cake is delicious, if I do say so myself. It, it really is an incredible tasting cake because um, all of the off um, the off cuts that we have to take off the cake when, when we're constructing it to make it all even, you know, we don't throw those out. We enjoy those ourselves. But um, this is just black organza ribbon, and this down here is what they call bling mesh. It's available in the wedding section at Michaels. It comes in several different colors. And then these are just those cake wires and charms, and you can put whatever charms you want. I had several. Like these beads are off of an old necklace. I buy necklaces and stuff, costume jewelry, when they go on clearance at places like Rue 21 and and uh, <clears throat> Maurice's because I don't necessarily want to buy the jewelry, but I like the, the beads and stuff that come off of them because when you're a crafter, you look at everything as a potential crafting supply, unfortunately. <laughs> so, um, But they, they get put good to, to good use. The wires, you can... I bought these at Michael's, and they are in the cake section. These are the... Um, the Duff Goldman line, and um, and some of these charms are actually cupcake charms from his line as well, but um, they're not that expensive. And I, I needed something which you didn't see me do in the fast play is put this bow on here. After I got everything said and done um, and got the wires the way I wanted them, the bow really something needed to be on the top of this cake. So I went ahead and I did this organza bow. And I really think it tops the whole thing off. I think it really came out beautiful. I sent a picture to my friend after it was all finished. And I said, here's the finished product. I hope it's okay. And she was thrilled. So we're going to deliver this in just a little while. And um, I use corsage pins um, down the back here to secure the ribbon and the bling mesh to the cake. So, And I know that my friend is a smart individual and that she won't eat those pins and she won't let her guests eat them either. So anyone who's worried about that. The 8-inch uh, round is on a cake board and it is and this top tier is supported on a cake board and then below the cake board I inserted and you saw you will see in the fast play. I inserted uh, inserted four um, pieces of dowel inside the lower cake so that it will support the weight of the upper tier. You have to do that if you're if you're constructing a tiered cake. Um, and that's in my opinion, if you're doing a two-tiered cake, if you're doing a multi-tiered cake, then um, then you have other issues altogether. And I, I'm not a professional cake decorator. I don't claim to be. My mother, as some of you may know, was a pastry chef, and um, I learned much of what I know from her. 
So this is very, very simple, very rudimentary, and it wouldn't win any awards, and it certainly isn't going to get me graduated from a culinary school. So um, I just wanted to share it with you, and I hope you enjoy. You'll see the fast play coming up. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and um, until next time, I'll see ya.